Welcome to Naomi Show at U of T and school is back in session. Yeah, only two days so far of class, but the varsity athletes who are actually out have been working for quite some time. Now looks like the men's rugby team has taken over for the women's lacrosse team to get a practice in before the weekend hits. Now for the rest of the student body who might not be playing quite at that level, there's always intramurals and signups are in full swing here if you want to take part in the programming. And it's got a bit more of a competitive swing to it with all of the various faculties and colleges going head to head. So our intramural program, we try to have something for everybody. We had about 13,000 students participate last year. Uh, so we always are introducing new sports, new activities, things like spike ball, glow in the dark, dodgeball, any kind of sport that any game that people are playing, we try to figure out how can we incorporate that into our programming and then play. Anyone from the entire school can participate for free. Um, they come out once a week for any sport they'd like. They can join multiple teams if they want to. and. Uh, they just come out and have some fun. What's one of your standout favorites that's either maybe new or different or weird? My favorite for sure is glow in the dark dodgeball. Yeah. Uh, we get the music pumping pretty loud on Saturday night and get the you know the war paint, glow in the dark war paint and the Sweet. bracelets and necklaces and students just have a great time. All the faculties usually have their own team. Um, for example, kinesiology would play against, we're, we're a faculty and we play against the other colleges. Oh, There's some bad blood sometimes between the teams? I wouldn't say bad blood, definitely <laughs> healthy competition. <laughs> It's pretty heated sometimes, especially when it comes to playoffs, because we compete to win our t-shirts. That's one of our competitions every year, is designing the championship t-shirt. So one of the U of T students did the design, and then they voted on it online. And so um, there's definitely a source of pride. You see them all over campus, uh, intramural champions. Have you won one? Uh, yes, I have won a few. So. We got a champion in our midst. Do you have a couple of championship t-shirts yourself? I might have one or two. Okay, okay. <laughs> and if you have more than one, like, do you wear, like, do you stack them? I feel like I'd wear all of them, like, one around my head. If you have five, you go Monday to Friday and yeah. do laundry on the weekend. Now, when you think of the D-League, I at least think of the Raptors 905. It's, of course, a place where the young basketball players get a chance to grow, develop their skills in hopes that they'll one day make the big team or at least be playing in a challenging environment. Well, U of T wanted to emulate a similar type of situation for their student athletes who wanted to push themselves and have found that it's also proven to be a great learning grounds for those calling the shots. Well, the intramural program is for everybody who just wants to come out and play. Uh, if people are looking for a bit more higher level of competition, uh, we have what we call the development league or the D-league. Um, so we run in a number of sports where there's a coach, uh, there's one practice per week, one game per week. Uh, it's a league that we run between the Scarborough campus, the Mississauga campus, and two teams from downtown. Uh, and it's just a little bit more competitive, a little bit more serious, and really focused on development and um, having a chance to continue to improve your skills uh, kind of in a week-in, week-out basis. Would the idea be, like, if you're on the cusp of being a varsity athlete or considering it, is this trying to get you there maybe? Potentially. Uh, we see a lot of development opportunities with our coaching staff where maybe an assistant coach or a second assistant coach can come and be the head coach and you know, have some in-game scenarios and practice plans. We also see some uh, varsity uh, players who maybe are sitting out a year or are just you know in their first year or need to develop physically or things like that. Um, it's a great opportunity for them to maybe shine in a different league and, and bring that back to practice the next season. So if you go to U of T and you're interested in maybe taking part in either the intramurals or the D-League, you can learn everything there is to know about the programs at the U of T intramural Instagram page.